What do you want in your life? It's a very hard question to answer. You're gonna to have to put some effort into your life. Set up some aims for yourself, goals that you actually value. You need to be motivated to do that. If you're extroverted, you want friends. If you're agreeable, you want an intimate relationship. If you're disagreeable, you want to win competitions. If you're open, you want to engage in creative activity. If you're high in neuroticism, you want security. So now you've got your thing to aim at. Think, well, I'm motivated because I got my thing to, thing to aim at. Yeah. It's like, you're not as motivated as you could be because you don't yet have your thing to run away from. Because if you really want to be motivated, you want to be going somewhere and you want to be not going somewhere else you got to aim at something otherwise your life is meaningless well what should you aim at well pick something aim at it as you move toward it you'll get wiser then maybe your aim will change that's okay but at least it'll change in an informed way discipline yourself in one dimension see what happens in some sense life is a game the analogy is that in, in life like in sports you're setting forth an aim and then arranging your perceptions and your actions in pursuit of that. And that you also generally do it while cooperating and competing with other people. Right. So that's also the game-like element as well. Okay, so once you get your goal structure set up, you think, okay, if I could have this life, looks like that might be worth living, despite the fact that it's gonna be anxiety provoking and threatening and there's gonna be some suffering and loss involved in all of that. The goal is to, to have a vision for your life such that all things considered, that justifies your effort. Put yourself in the right frame of mind. Treat yourself like you're someone responsible for helping. You're someone that you are responsible for helping. So what that means is you have to start from the presupposition that despite all your flaws and insufficiencies, that it's worth having you around and that it would be okay if things were better for you. It's like if you want to have everything you could possibly want and more, then be a good person. The better a person you are, the more likely that is to happen. That doesn't mean you that you're completely protected against getting cut off at the knees, but there's no better strategy. Then what do you do? Well, then, then you turn down to the micro routines. It's like, okay, well, this is what I'm aiming for. How does that instantiate itself day to day, week to week, month to month? And that's where something like a schedule can be unbelievably useful. Google Calendar. It's like, make a damn schedule and stick to it. Okay, so what's the rule with the schedule? It's not a bloody prison. That's the first thing that people do wrong. They say, well, I don't like to have, follow a schedule. Well, it's like, well, what kind of schedule are you setting up? Well, I, sh I have to do this, then I have to do this, then I have to do this, you know, and then I just go play video games because who wants to do all these things that I have to do? It's like, wrong. Set the damn schedule up so that you have the day you want. That's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was going to set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, practically speaking, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. And obviously there's a bit of responsibility that's going to go along with that. Because if you have any sense, one of the things that you're going to insist upon is that at the end of the day, you're not in worse shape than you were that, than at the beginning of the day, right? Because that's a stupid day. If you have a bunch of those in a row, you just dig, you know, you dig yourself a hole and then you bury yourself in it. It's like, sorry, that's just not a good strategy. Now it's okay. Now you've got your vision. You're trying to get through a territory you don't understand. And here's your option. No map, a map that's not so good, but has some <laughs> things about it, or a great map. Well, right. obviously the great map is the thing you I want, do, yeah. but the, the map that's something is way better than the map that's nothing. Plus, as you explore, because of your map, you could start to fill in the details. Let's say you, you aim at something and you, and you develop some skills along the way, and then you get like a third of the way there and you think, oh, that's not for me. It's like, well, yeah, fair enough, but now you've still got the skills you developed. You know exactly why it's not for you now. And then you can bring that wisdom back, even though it's not perfect, you can bring it back to your next plan. And so as you plan, you get better at planning, which is the crucial thing. So then we say to people, well, take your positive vision and make it into eight stateable goals, right? So, and then rank them in a hierarchy, break the goals into incremental goals so that you have a reasonable probability of succeeding frame. Yeah, within yeah. some time frame. That's the other thing. You have to parameterize it with regards to time frame. That's right. And when you're in the zone, you're expanding your skills at, in a manner that's intrinsically rewarding because you're succeeding. And so you want to set, if you're good to yourself, you think, okay, I need to set a goal, but I need to set a goal that someone as stupid and useless as me could probably attain if they put some effort into it. Right. And then, you got, then you've got it perfectly because it's not so high that it's grandiose or impossible that you fail necessarily and then justify your bitterness. Well, I set a goal and I didn't attain it, so I'm not gonna set any more goals. Right. It's like, no, 
you set a goal that was inappropriate. And you're playing a trick on yourself because you wanted to fail so that you could justify not having to try, which isn't in helpful. You're still gonna be a victim. It's yeah. like, there's no way out of that, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, because life is this, life is a challenge that in some sense can't be surmounted. So there's no way out of your problem but there are certainly proper ways of dealing with it. And then the next thing is, okay, you need a rationale for them because you're gonna have doubts and other gonna, people are gonna put up obstacles. Why would it be good for you, okay? Why would it be good for your family if you attained that goal? Why would it be good for the broader community? Because if it's a good goal, it should be good for you, that's fine. But if it's a really good goal, it should be good for you in a way that's good for other people. Win, win, win. Yes, exactly. And, you, and if you're gonna decide what your goals are, why not set up the ones that benefit the largest number of the people simultaneously. Yeah. Yes, and if you can do that, you should start with your own concerns because you have yeah. to take care of yourself. Basic needs first. Yes, put your own Family. oxygen mask on, then put your child's oxygen Community. mask on. Yeah, right. And then you can, as you as you build up a, the basis of competence locally, you might develop enough skills so that you can expand that outward. Mm -hmm. And it also gives your goal a certain amount of nobility. And so and if someone yeah. challenges yeah. you and says, well, why are you doing that? That seems stupid, you could say, I'm doing that because it helps me take care of myself, but it benefits my family and here's the reasons why, and this is the repercussions out into the broader community. People who are putting up objections and doubts aren't, aren't armed to deal with that kind of response. Yeah. And then when you have those doubts in your mind that plague you, you say, why, why am I doing this? Oh yeah, it's because, well, I have to take care of myself because otherwise I'm pathetic and useless and bitter <laughs> and cruel and then and I'm going somewhere terrible, so that's a bad idea. And, here's how it would help my family, and here's how it would help the community, and that's good enough set of reasons for it, unless I can think of better ones. Right. right. If without better ones, that's good enough. When the unknown emerges, you tend to...